Hey guys, geek into everyone. On this video, I'm gonna tell you about su command in Linux. Su, short from substitute user command, allows users to become other users. Sounds so simple, right? Let's check it out how it works in real examples. But before, I want to show you a manual of this command. You can use the man command to get a manual and as you can see so change user ID or become super user also you can find a lot of information about this command included synopsis description option etc so don't hesitate to check this manual out if you want to get more information about this command you can get a brief info of this command using uh, this flag press enter so the brief information included syntax and options with description to display this help message this brief info we use this option you can use uh, this flag or double dash help plug so and you get the same info okay let's try to run this command without any option so press enter and password required what kind of password i need to specify here without any options this command required to be a super user so it's required to become super user. Oh, I need to specify a root password. So as you can see, we change uh, our current user acronym to root user. And with super user privilege, but usually it's not good practice to use this command uh, like that you know without any options to become a super user instead of that my recommendation is use a sudo command instead of that but on this video i'm not telling you about sudo command i have another video on my youtube channel you can check it out if you want to get more information about sudo command please check it out so to use this command for changing a user you have to type su plus the name of user you want to become okay press enter as you can see no password required because uh, we have been a root user with the super user privilege and we change root user to acronym user so this command is like default command without any options but usually system administrator use uh, this option I highlight the text it's a hyphen or this flag or this flag so by this option uh, you automatically moving from the current directory to the users home directory users which you specify and by this option all environment included environment variables load from the users you specify so let's try to do that su so, plus heaven and i want to became become another user user gate it's a uh, another user of my operational system you can uh, create if you don't have a user by add user command 
I you can find a video on my, my YouTube channel how to create a new user so I have a user user gate and now I want to change uh, you from user acronym to user to user user gate using uh, this hyphen this option so press enter and password required for the user gate Okay, press enter so I became a user gate so as you can see I dropped into the uh, home directory of user gate and all environment change from environment of acronym to environment of user gate so mostly I recommend use this command with this option and usually system administrators during their work life they use uh, this command as well with this option okay but if you want to preserve environment and don't reset environment variables and keep the same shell okay you can use uh, this option this flux dash m dash p double dash preserve environment let's check how it works okay uh, let's check it out home as you can see on the home environment variable uh, information about home directory of user gate not from acronym or if you use a if you check another environment variable user you can see on inside this environment variable saved user gate so all environment all, almost all environment variables keep information from our previous user from user gate and by this option I, I highlight you can preserve environment at, and keep environment from users from user you run the command okay we run this command from user gate user so we save or all, all environments from this user okay but usually I don't use this option okay let's uh, get back to user gate Okay, one more time. Okay. And clear the terminal. Okay. Uh, one more option is uh, this flag dash C or double dash command and then followed by a command. This option pass command to the invoked shell. So how it works? I can show you you specify su then you have to specify flag dash c and then you have to type a command you want to run I run echo command which display on the output information followed by and I want to display information about home variable home variable uh, save information about home directory of the user uh, which run this command okay and we want to run this command by user acronym so press enter and we have to type a password for acronym
Oh, okay, one more time. Just wrongly type a password. So press enter. As you can see, on the output, we uh, we see a result from this command, and we see a path of the home directory for user acronym. Okay, if you want to run this command by user gate, you can see for the user gate it's another home directory, of course. If you want to run the command from one user and you want to run the command uh, by another user, you can use a option with this flag. Sometimes it's useful. So, and last option is the this option. I highlight the text. So, uh, by this option on description, use shell instead of default in password. Password, not password. Actually, uh, for all my users, default shell is the a bash I can show you okay it's a bin bash so for all users it's a default shell is the bash if you want to uh, change a user for example I want to change a, uh, I want to become a acronym and I want to log uh, as acronym with the not default shell bin bash but I want to specify shell another shell I can use uh, this option so s plus bin for example another shell zh shell you can specify like that and then you specify the name of user you want to become and press enter but I don't have a Z shelf now on my operational system but you anyway if you if I download it you know I can change it but I prefer use bash of course but if you need to use this command you can use it by this way so uh, that's all and one more time I want to uh, I want to say one more time that usually system administrators use this command to change user with uh, this option heaven or this flags dash shell or double dash login uh, this command moving you to a home working directory of the user you specify and load all environments of the user you specified so uh, I recommend usually use this command but depends uh, of uh, what you need okay Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it and you get some useful information. Uh, please follow my channel and like on this video. Thank you. Ciao, ciao.